What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Comar, PA. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys the three best pieces of advice that I've ever received that have gotten me to where I am today in my lifting career. So let's get right to it. But first, if you haven't watched the three worst pieces of advice, along with some other pieces of bad advice that the viewers have submitted, go check that video out, which I'll link right here. And as always, guys, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and put something down in the comments section that I can respond to because I'm desperate and I need to talk to people. Okay, so first piece of advice right off the bat, and I just want to say that there are so many great pieces of advice, and it's really tough to narrow down to three, but I'm going to do the best that I can, and what I want you guys to do is put them down below what are the best pieces of lifting advice you have ever received, but the first one for me has to be building base strength, and I have this short story that I talked about in other videos, but when I first got a personal trainer and got involved with strength training, I thought I was gonna be doing tons of curls and chest exercises using machines and basically uh, kind of what I saw bodybuilders doing at the time. However, when I went to this coach and thank God he knew what he was talking about, he put me into a squat rack and he taught me how to squat, taught me how to bench, uh, you know, we were lifting things, carrying things, flipping tires, using sledgehammers, doing farmer walks, etc. All sorts of these big compound movements. And, uh, you know, I'm just so grateful that I was able to build a base of strength. And I didn't worry about all the little isolation movements when I was young. And that really helped get me to where I'm at today. So by far, one of the best pieces of advice is gonna be build that base strength, guys, and that the basics work. So never give up on the basics, and when in doubt, just hit them super hard, and you're going to have, one, a great physique, you're gonna be just well-rounded, you're gonna be super strong, and have all the great fundamentals that are gonna make you a successful lifter. So that's my first great piece of advice. Second piece of awesome advice, and I actually didn't really get this until the last couple years, has to do with pain management and learning more about what exactly is pain and the nuances that come with pain. So back in the day, if I was ever injured, okay, maybe in sports or maybe with lifting, I would just take off. And now we know that's probably one of the worst things that you can do. Uh, and a lot of the research out there suggests that one of the best things you can do is train around that tweak or that injury and find ways to modify and adapt. Uh, so for me, I learned a ton uh, from Austin Baraki of Barbell Medicine, along with a lot of other pain science guys out there. Uh, so check out Barbell Medicine or Austin Baraki's content on pain. Uh, they put a lot of good stuff out there and just how nuanced and complex pain can be. And also just try to find a way to work around pain and injury, all right? Taking off or just not doing anything is not going to be as beneficial as trying to adapt, train around, find variations that you can do and focus on what you can do rather than what you can't. Uh, so that has helped me progress through my lifting career where when I would see an injury as a setback, now I look at it and I figure out how can I grow through this injury and get back as fast as possible and come back even stronger. So that is tip number two. All right, so my third and final greatest piece of advice is to enjoy the process. And this has been handed down to me from lifters that are older than I have, who have better you know, lifting careers than I've ever had, uh, and they've been around for a long time. And basically what happens is when we first start lifting, right, we think everything's gonna be a linear progression. And in the beginning, it may be that way. However, the more you advance in lifting and the better that you get and the longer you're around, you start to see these peaks and valleys, right, these highs and lows. And during that time, it can get a little bit discouraging. And then you start questioning maybe, why am I doing this? Or you get frustrated and you just maybe don't enjoy lifting as much. However, when you have the mindset of, you know, this is a journey, this is a process, these things are supposed to happen, they're going to happen, it makes it just a little bit easier and a little bit sweeter when you're going through it. So for me, changing that mindset around and thank goodness I have these older role models that have been able to share their stories and relate to me when I go through these periods has just made it a lot better, okay? So if you guys are in this for the long haul, you have to know that the days of the linear progression will probably come to an end, okay? So you're gonna have peaks and valleys and just keep going through it, all right? There's beauty in the journey and in the process. And if you guys wanna be around for the long haul, you need to just grasp that concept and know that it's gonna take time. All right, so if you're looking for the long haul, you know, big picture of things, it's that this is a journey, all right? You never really do have a bad day because every day is just a great day that we're able to train and get to use, you know, the gym uh, at our disposal. So just focus on that. Uh, but I think those are really good three tips 
uh, that I can give you guys and hopefully you can share this video with your friends or fellow lifters. Uh, but more importantly, what I want you to do is go down in the comments section right now, put the best pieces of lifting advice you've ever received. And like I said in the beginning of the video, it's tough for me to pinpoint uh, just three because there's so many, but I want to give you guys a little base there. You know, one on training, uh, one on pain management, and then one that's kind of training in life, you know, and it's kind of funny how lifting relates so much to life, right? And the things that we face in the gym can directly impact and help us with what we face outside the gym. Uh, but that's all I have for today, guys. Lots of great videos coming out. We're trying to do about three a week, so stay on the lookout. Make sure you guys are, are liking the video, subscribing to the channel, share these videos. It means the world to me. Uh, if you guys are looking for a fantastic community, go to Facebook, type in The Iron Lions. It's a Facebook group. Uh, request to be in. We will accept you. It's just a community of lifters where we do form checks, articles, and you can just ask questions and, and hang out with us uh, you know, virtually. There's also programs at zatstrength.net. So if you guys are looking for programming, whether it's custom or template, uh, zastrength.net is the place for you. And as always, I am an HD muscle sponsored athlete. So all my supplements that I use every single day are from HD muscle, highest quality stuff on the market. Use code zastrength, save yourself some money and check out those supplements. If you don't want to use supplements, that's totally fine and up to you. Go get your stuff wherever you want, but I always appreciate the support. So stay lean, mean, strength machine guys. Catch you next time. Peace.